What up, everybody? Welcome back to another podcast, Sports Elite, with your boy Adrian. Now, it's that time again once a year, and the NFL is back. I don't know about y'all, but I'm excited. Our training camps are all underway across the league. And Thursday, my Pittsburgh Steelers report to camp, and yesterday, Friday, they had their official first day of practice. Now, I've been waiting for this moment for months and months and months as I'm ready to put that 2018 tumultuous season behind the boys. Now, they missed the playoffs, finishing 9-6-1. and one. A lot of distractions, a lot of things that went wrong last year, a lot of missed games, a lot of things that weren't traditionally the Steelers' way. But with that being said, it's a new, it's a new season, it's a new year, new, le- new direction, everything. Everybody's ready to go, feeling refreshed, and it's going to be a hell of a bounce-back year, and it's going to be nothing but resurgence and revenge and, re- and just stepping up and making plays and doing what we need to do to get the job done. Now, with that being said, the Steelers were able to put, were able to trade Antonio Brown to the Oakland Raiders. Le'Veon Bell ended up signing with the, with the Jets. Hey, I'm gonna miss Le'Veon. AB, I'm not as mad, but hey, they had to put the distraction behind us and let the let the let the leaders prevail and step up and quiet the noise. Most importantly, quiet this noise. Now, first first couple bits of tidbit news. One, the Steelers signed Mike Tomlin to a one year contract extension, putting him. Through the 2021 season, because after this year he would have been a free agent. Now I like that. Have a little stability. See what's gonna happen this year. Then also, Kevin Colbert says he's not gonna talk contract extension until after the season, which is fine. He wants to take it year by year and put the team, as he calls it, in a competitive, Kevin competitive advantage and continue to win. Now over his 20 years, Kevin has done a great job getting players like Roman, Raymond Foster, Villanueva, James Harrison, all undrafted. And he's drafted guys like Troy Palomalu, Big Ben, Antonio Brown, Le'Veon Bell. Three of those four for sure be Hall of Famers. It's Antonio Holmes, who helped us win the Super Bowl. Just great job by, by Kevin Colbert. And Mike T has never had a losing season. I know he didn't make the playoffs last year, but I would not rather have any other coach in this world but Mike T. And he's a player's coach, and the players love him. And I think he sometimes he has to be a little more strict. But with that being said, the players love him, and he, his voice still resonates in that locker room, and there will be more respect to go around. Now, let's get to it. First and foremost, my prediction is that these boys will finish 10-6 and six and will win the division at 10-6. and six, I have Cleveland at 9-7 and seven and Baltimore at 8-8, eight and, eight, and nobody really cares about Cincinnati. I have them winning five, six games, but it will be a tight one between them and Cleveland, and I know I'm going to get... Bash about all the Cleveland fans. Hey, I'm a hater, but hey, they've got great talent, but I think we have the veteran leadership and the experience to get this done. In Baltimore, I just think teams have another year on Lamar Jackson, and they lost a lot defensively and a lot of players. But I am picking them to win the AFC North this year, and let's get it done. Now, on the defensive side of the ball, we have these are the leaders that need to step up on defense. That is Vince Williams, linebacker. Cam Hayward, they are the catalyst for this defense, and Joe Hayden, the corner, who provides great experience and depth and needs to help his secondary out, who struggled last year. Now, on the offensive side of the ball, Big Ben, you know he's getting bashed. He's, he's not that great of a guy. He can't be an A-ho, but he needs to step up and be a leader and show these guys what he can do. I think Juju will slowly make his, his way into leadership, but I still think he's a little younger guy, only going into his third year. But also on the offensive side of the ball, you got – the vocal leader of this team, in my opinion, and that is Marquise Pouncey. The offensive line goes where he goes, the team goes where he goes, and they get fueled by his fire. But those are the key guys that need to step up this year and keep this team together and intact. Now, a couple of things. I have my two breakout players this year who I really feel like will make a big impact and will make a really big breakthrough. And that is one that one on the offensive side of the ball is James Washington, receiver from Oklahoma State. It's going into his second year, and he needs – Big playability, which he can do. He did it at Oklahoma State, Oklahoma State with Mason Rudolph. Struggled a little bit last year with drops, even one crucial drop in the Denver game. Big Ben got him a little bit, but but in the offseason he lost some weight, got in better shape, conditioning. And I think he's a burner, and I think he will make a big impact this year. And on the defensive side of the ball, second year safety. Well, I didn't see a draft in this in, this, in the first round last season, but I think he will have a hell of an impact, and that is Terrell Edmonds. He's going to have a breakthrough season, pairing him along with Sean Davis on the other side, safety spot. He's he's more of a – he's a hitter. He can come down and hit you, but I think he can cover as well too. He will be making some big plays. The biggest question mark I have for the team this year, once again, and I'm going to say it again, 
is the play of the secondary. Like I said, we have Terrell Edmonds going to the second season. We got Sean Davis. He's solid. We got Joe Hayden corner. We signed Steve Nelson from the Kansas City Chiefs. We'll see what he can do. <sighs> Artie Burns, Artie Burns, Artie Burns. Guess we're keeping Artie Burns. I think what will happen is Artie Burns will end up being cut after this year. I haven't been impressed with him in the years that I've seen him in the Pittsburgh Steelers uniform. And now I think Joe Hayden and Steve Nelson will be grooming third-round draft pick Justin Lane out of Michigan State. Justin Lane is long, athletic, can play. And I think once he develops, he will be a stud. But I see nothing but the but up-and-coming and better play from the secondary because it can't get any worse than what it was last year. It's given up way too many big plays. Way too many big plays and lost a lot of games that the boys should not have lost. And I see nothing but maturity and nothing but growth and, and nothing but trying to get better each and every day because they have to. They're on a mission. They still have the, a small window content, to contend with Big Ben at, at quarterback, and he's not getting any younger. But with that being said, I, I do see an increased workload for James Conner, praying that he can stay healthy this year because he got hurt towards the end of the season last year, and it really cost us. So we'll really need him. We didn't have him in the New Orleans Saints game last year, and that really hurt. Steven really fumbled late in that game when the Steelers were in control of that game. But James will have a big impact, and they will continue to do well. Also, you got Jalen Samuels, who came in and did a pretty good job. And we drafted Benny Snell out of Kentucky, who I really love, and I really think he will have an impact. This is a grinder. He's a, a do-it-all guy. Put the, put the, give him the ball and get it between the tackles, and he can go. But I'm excited for this season. And another thing I want to talk about is the, is the, the kick and play. Chris Boswell. Now, the Steelers are going to defer his $2 million signing bonus until after the preseason, as long as he's on the roster. They even brought in competition to put the pressure on him, because last year, he, when it counted most, the pressure did not, did not get got to him really bad, and it cost us a few games. Two in particular that I can think of. One in the Denver game, where he had a field goal blocked. Another, an, another situation in the Knuckle Raiders game, where I was sick about, where he missed Two field goals and one late where he slipped on the turf. Now, he missed seven field goals and five extra points last season. So the pressure has to be on. You have to produce in this league. And even 2017, before that, he had a, a Pro Bowl year. So the psyche has to get together. And we're going to need him this year if we really want to win some big games. And Because there might be a few games that come down to one possession. So we're going to need you, Mr. Boswell, to get the job done. I'm excited. They're in Latrobe, getting in, working hard, grinding. Preseason will start in a couple weeks, you know. Hall of Fame game next Thursday, August 1st, between the Cardinals and the Bears. I'm excited, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm excited to see what my Pittsburgh and Steelers can do because I know it will be a better season. People will play harder. Distractions are going once again, like I'm saying. It is time to go, ladies and gentlemen. It's 2019 season. I'm ready. Now, I know we kick off against the New England Patriots September 8th as they'll be hosting their banner, but let's get it. It is time to make some noise. The window's still open. I see big things for this team. And, oh, by the way, I'm ready to see what my boy Devin Bush can do. We got him along with Mark Barron to pair with Vince Williams and Tyler Makovich, who will groom D. Bush. But strong play will come from that. We will need that. But like I said, I'm excited. The Steelers are going to are gonna do some good things this year, and I see it. And I cannot wait, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited, but this is only the beginning. So our 2019 season is upon us, and I'm ready to get you get it going, that terrible tile waving. You know what they like to say with the hashtag, here we go, baby. It's going to be another great one. It's your boy Adrian. Remember, like I always say, chase them dreams. Do anything you, you want to do. Do not quit. Don't let anybody count you out, and you can do it. And once again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's Adrian Myers. And also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for the latest news and updates. And just shout me out and tell a friend and tell a friend. But my Twitter, once again, for everybody who, who doesn't know, it's keeping the score. K E E. P-I-N-T-H-E-S-C-O-R-E. I'm sorry, everybody. Y'all have a great day. It's your boy, Adrian, and I'm out.